What is up YouTube, my name is Gio, and the people have spoken again, saying that they want me to talk about the new trailer for the Snyder Cut of Justice League. Thank you all for voting, and watch till the end to see what my next video is going to be. But for now, let's talk about Justice League. I would call the original Justice League the most disappointing superhero movie of all time, but one that would take that honor away from Wonder Woman 1984, and two that would imply that this movie had some kind of high expectations. Look, let's go back to 2017. Right before Justice League was released, the movies we saw in the DCEU at the time was Man of Steel, which was hit or miss for most people, Batman v Superman that fails so many characters and jumps the gun way too early on some plot points, Suicide Squad, which well, is a guilty pleasure of mine, is pretty damn bad, and Wonder Woman, which is very solid. That is three out of your four movies being mixed or just Awful. So needless to say, there wasn't a lot of hype for this movie. And when I first saw it, I just remember it being so bad. Obviously for this video, I had to rewatch it. And realize the movie wasn't horrible, but just below average. So was Zack Snyder getting a second chance at Justice League? The big question is, can it even be fixed? Can the film's problems be covered up or are the cracks too deep to repair? Well, sit back and let's find out if the Snyder Cut can save Justice League. For those of you who haven't seen Justice League, the movie takes place in the aftermath of Superman's death. This leaves the Earth defenseless to outside threats. Our main villain Steppenwolf, who looks like a crossbreed between a man and Pinsir for Pokemon, has come to Earth to collect three powerful artifacts called Mother Boxes that if are combined, he can use to rule the planet. So Batman puts a team together consisting of Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Cyborg, and The Flash to stop Steppenwolf. However, after all three mother boxes are taken, Batman thinks the only way to win is with Superman. So after some casual grave robbing, the team revive him. There are a few hiccups, but they eventually come together to defeat Steppenwolf and establish the Justice League. Now much like a doctor, in order to find out what the Snyder Cut needs to do to fix this movie, we need to establish what's wrong with it to begin with. For one, the world doesn't feel lived in. The DCEU doesn't feel like it's had a Batman for over a decade. It's just, it's just really empty. Like at the beginning, Wonder Woman has to stop a terrorist group from blowing up a museum. And who's behind this? Could it be Lex Luthor or maybe even Maxwell Lord? Down with the modern world. Back to the dark ages. Who the fuck is this? If you're gonna throw us in a world where these heroes have been around for a while, what is wrong with making this random guy into some recognizable villain? Hell, he can just be a C-lister at best, as long as it makes us feel like the world has some history behind it. I'm about to make a lot of comparisons to this movie, but in the Avengers, they did this through S.H.I.E.L.D. The organization feels like it's been around for years and shown to have a strong foothold in the history of the MCU. So having this organization bring our heroes together makes the world feel more expansive than Justice League ever did. Oh wow, they just, they really just vanish. Huh? Oh, that's rude. Okay, well the universe kind of blows, but let's look at something more important, the teams themselves. We got a stellar lineup of classic heroes, The Flash, Aquaman, Cyborg, Wonder Woman, and goddamn Batman. I mean, these are some of the most recognizable superheroes. There is no way they can mess them up. So they messed them up. Yeah, most of the characters seem so one note and bland. Aquaman is the rough and tough, egocentric, the Flash is comic relief, and Cyborg feels like a monster. The only characters that feel deeper than surface level is Batman and Wonder Woman. Gee, I wonder why those two characters feel more developed. I, I just wonder, what possibly could have caused this? Seriously, I never understood why DC looked at Marvel and thought to themselves, we have to do something completely different. It's like looking at the wheel and saying, I can do it better, and you end up with a goddamn oval. These new characters don't feel deep or interesting, rather just check marks that the movie has to go through. I mean, their introductions themselves just feel like glorified slides on a PowerPoint presentation. I've read shopping lists that go more in depth than this script. I mean, what do I really know about Cyborg? What motivates him to help the team? Why does he stay around? What did he have for breakfast? I don't care, just give me something, rather than... If these are guests, then why am I the one paying for them? Every day, I wake up different. So you do to someone else what you did to me. We get it. 
The Avengers didn't have this problem, because for the most part, each character had their own movie to grow and develop in, which allowed the film to focus on other things. And if you think this is an unfair comparison, okay, then explain to me Guardians of the Galaxy. A movie that had to develop more characters that nobody knew about and still managed to make each one deep and compelling. Someone explain to me how I feel more for Rocket Raccoon than my childhood hero of the Flash. Seriously, please, I would love to know. Okay, so these characters don't work as individuals, but maybe when they come together, then they will truly feel like- Why do I even bother? You know the punchline. There is a big problem with the team coming together, and that is that it feels too easy. To give you an example of what I mean, in the Avengers, before they become a team, they're constantly struggling to work together, as their individual egos keep clashing. And that makes sense. I mean, you can't expect people to work well together from the jump. If I'm playing Call of Duty with a bunch of random people, I have a higher chance of losing the match than I would if I was playing with my friends. Okay, Let's go, go baby! Go. They, ain't go. they ain't shit! They ain't shit! What? I See, I can't that. see him! You're fucking dog shit! Jesus. Oh my god! <laughs> the same applies for team up movies. There needs to be some kind of struggle with the initial formation of the team. So when they finally are in sync and working together, it feels like these characters have accomplished something. With Justice League, they are already pretty good at working with each other from the jump. There is no real internal conflict between them. So when they do have their final fight with Steppenwolf, it doesn't feel special. I mean, this is a hell of a lot more satisfying than this. So in review, the Snyder Cut needs to make the world feel lived in, our new characters deeper, and the league coming together feel like an accomplishment. And with all of these problems, I don't think a re-edit of Justice League would make any of it better, as the foundation of this film is flawed and will require so much more change than a simple edit could do. So I guess the Snyder Cut really can't save Justice League. Is what I would say if this was just a re-edit. According to certain reports, Zack Snyder was given 70 million dollars for reshoots and post-production. This is not a director's cut. This is a whole ass rewrite. Zack Snyder at most is probably keeping the bare minimum of what we originally saw and using all this money for new scenes, suits, effects, and even a potential whole ass new villain in Darkseid. If you look at the new trailer and even the teaser from a few months ago, we see signs of these bigger changes the film needs. Scenes that may explore characters like Aquaman, Flash, and Cyborg, fleshing out the DCEU with new and returning characters like Iris West, Joker, and the Atom. And according to certain articles, they even have been making drastic changes to the script itself. This is some straight up YouTube rewrite shit we are seeing play out in real time. Zack Snyder has been given a chance to do something that almost no director gets. A chance to redo his movie in a way that can truly satisfy the audience. There is a high probability that they could pull this off, and not even for what I just listed, but because Snyder now has the benefit of hindsight. He has seen the criticisms and complaints for the original movie, and now has a chance to address that. Now this comes with a big exception. Obviously, if you don't like Zack Snyder as a director or the way he has written these heroes in the past, then you probably aren't going to like the re-edit. I don't understand people that think I don't like Batman v Superman or Man of Steel or anything else Zack Snyder has done, but then automatically think, oh, this Snyder cut can save my opinion on Justice League. You're probably not going to like it. Hell, I might not even like it because I'm not a fan of how he has treated these characters in the past. However, you can't deny that the ball is in his court, and I think if done right, the Snyder Cut can definitely save Justice League. Anyway, I do hope you guys did enjoy the video, and now I'm going to leave the question off to you guys. What do you think? Do you think the Snyder Cut can actually save Justice League and make it a better movie? Or do you think the film is just too far gone to be fixed? There's actually a lot of new stuff coming out, so I got a bunch of video ideas on the chopping block. Falcon and the Winter Soldier is going to be out soon, obviously Batwoman Season 2, and goddamn Superman and Lois!
oh, that first episode was just so good. But while those are all ideas that probably will eventually happen, my man BM has been wanting me to talk about the Flash Season 7 run trailer for a while now. And I figured that he keeps getting beaten out with the polls and that the first episode is going to be coming out soon. That, what the hell? So my next video is going to be me looking at the Flash Season 7 run trailer and the first episode and looking to see what this season needs to do to save the Flash. But as usual, there's going to be more polls going on throughout the week. And just as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys liked it and you're new to the channel, hit that like and that subscribe button. Also, if you need the channel's potential, hit the same buttons. Anyway, my name is Gio. I will talk to you all later. Peace.